your personal freedoms to privacy you have a right to. Personal freedom does not mean that you should encroach on someone else's right to personal privacy. Greetings and welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to talk about the right to privacy or privacy and personal freedoms in Second Life. Recently, I had an experience where there was probably a misunderstanding of my personal right to privacy. I explained to this person that I was building, it was my land, and they shouldn't just pop out of the blue whenever they wanted to on it, especially with, with them and their three other alts at the same time. I explained it. They continued to do it another time. So I banned them from my land. And then when I logged on the next day, I got an offline. And that offline asked, why did I ban them from our land? Now, it took me a couple of minutes to reread that I am and make sure that it did say our and not your, but it was definitely our, whether that was a mistype or or what have you, I do not know, but they had plenty of time to correct it if it was a mistype. Before rushing into a response, I took several hours to form my response, which was quite simple, but I wanted to make sure that my response was void of emotion. My response was short, and it simply asked, when did you pay tier? Then I went on to clarify that I enjoy my privacy very much and that I did not appreciate the random at any time at will of their TPing onto my land. While, especially while I'm building, I do not like to be bothered while I'm building. That is my ultimate preference when it comes to my land. I have a right to that preference because I do pay tier for the land. I'm the only person that pays tier on that land. I did give them time to respond, but I just went ahead and I blocked them. Because I could not fathom waiting around to hear an explanation of trying to justify their, frankly, rude actions. When I'm live streaming, that is not an open invitation to pop up on my land at any time. Well, I thought the matter was closed until... An hour ago, there was a comment on my latest video saying, be careful, Wilson, she might de-render and block you. Well, that was a pretty childish thing to, to have said, to, to leave a comment, right? But considering that the avatar of this person is a kid avatar, then I suppose that does make some type of sense. I am sorry that, you know, the way I think about my own personal right to privacy in Second Life offends someone. That, that is quite unfortunate. But what is more unfortunate <clears throat> is that someone feels entitled to something of which they have not put into, that they do not pay for. That's, that's highly unfortunate. 
in Second Life, everybody has a personal right to privacy. And yes, it is true that while in Second Life, there is no such thing as privacy because it is Second Life. If people are determined enough, they will see what they want to see or they will go somewhere where they're not supposed to go. That's just how it is. But when a person has been told not to do something, that should be the end of it. Personal freedom in a virtual world is highly regarded by everyone, just as it is in the physical world. The only real method of keeping our personal freedoms are for those that trespass on those freedoms to acknowledge and accept that they're just not wanted. They are not entitled. No one is entitled to someone else's personal freedom or privacy. No one, not even in Second Life. A decent person will accept it. Be like, okay, I am sorry. I will not do that again and move on with their life. An offended but hurt person will be childish enough to carry on what they feel as aggro and leave a pretty petty comment on a video regarding the matter. Again, as I said, this person and their alts, they're all child avatars. And people wonder why child avatars get the wrong end of the stick in Second Life. Which, I will say this. A person who logs into Second Life and they use a child avatar does not give them the right to act like a child unless they're on RP sim or something appropriate. But to just willy-nilly randomly pop up on someone's land after being told that uh, they did not want random TPs upon that land is simply an entitled childish act. Not all child avatars are this way because as in the physical world, you get good children and you get misbehaving children and you get spoiled children. The issue is not about the type of avatar, though I have touched on it, but that is not the issue. In that regard, I was talking about the behavior of that particular type of avatar. The issue, once again, is that in Second Life, if you pay for your own land, if you pay for your own rent, of course, you're going to be guarded about that. Unless you own a public space like a club or some type of RP sim or a park or a theme park or things of that nature that are open to the public that advertise for traffic that say welcome all at any time of the day. Okay. Those are public open spaces. When it comes to a person's individual personal land, and if they don't want you on it, and they tell you that, respect it. If you don't pay for it, if you do not donate to it, if you do not contribute in some way, then your claim to entitlement is a folly. Personal freedom and second life is something that should be cherished and not stepped on by other people who either don't care, don't take the hint, or 
just feels entitled that whatever they see is theirs. That just simply an illusion of their misthinking. You know, when you use real money, real U.S. dollars to put into a virtual world, your own land, or even rented land, that adds up to a couple of hundreds of dollars a, a, a year. If I was so inclined, you know, would I randomly go out onto the street and just give that money to strangers and say, here you go, here's a couple of hundred dollars? No, I wouldn't. So why would I allow my land to be open and offered to, to anybody in Second Life? No, not while I'm on it building and after I done said, don't randomly just show up, don't come here. Just randomly in the physical world, walk down the street, see the color of a door you like and walk up, knock on it. The door's answered. You just walk on in and sit down on the couch. Do you do that? No, you don't. You don't do that. And you shouldn't do it in Second Life either. Now, some may think that concept is silly, but it's not. Why? Because it's called human nature. Every human feels that right to personal privacy. And even in a virtual world where we're all pixelated avatars with primitives for objects, we still have feel to right because we are all human. Your land is your land. If you pay for it, then you have a right to it. If you do not pay for it, do not donate towards it, do not contribute towards it in any way, then you do not have a right to it when it comes to personal properties and personal private houses in Second Life. If someone invites you, then you are invited. Okay? You are welcomed. If you are not invited, then you are not welcomed. And along the lines of personal freedom in Second Life, we all have the personal freedom to allow someone or to disallow someone to welcome people in, invite them in, or to say, no, I don't want you here, go away. That is the personal freedom we all have. And if anybody ever makes you try to make you feel guilty or puts a blame on you for being mean or harsh or a bitch or anything else like that, don't feel bad about it. Because just remember this. If you pay for it and no one else is paying for it, you don't need to feel guilty. If someone else gets butt hurt, don't feel guilty. You are within your right. In the physical world, someone in some states and certain places of the world, you trespass on someone's property, they might take a gun out and shoot you. Well, in Second Life, you trespass on someone's personal private property, after they done told you, don't do that, they don't shoot you, they ban you. It's like, there you go. That's it. You're dead. That's it. You're, you're banned. If you're banned from the location, then there's nothing else to say. This is regard to private homes and personal property in Second Life. Not clubs or anything like that. It's just amazing that for whatever reason, whatever reason, the entitlement factor of situations like this is just really beyond the pale. Like, look, it's simple. If someone tells you no, that means no. If someone says, don't do that again, 
That means do not do that again and or any other similar actions do not do again. And that is a right to that person. We all have the right to enjoy our personal spaces. The people who get butt hurt because they feel somehow that this cut off a benefit of whatever random entitlement God they thought they were living under, then that's a personal problem of theirs. And you don't need to fix it. They need to realize that somebody in their life did not explain to them that not everything is owed to them. I apologize if this video has come across harsh. I just wanted to um, come across as clear and as concise as I can because this is one of those things that it gets on people's nerves, especially gets on my nerves. Sorry for the heavy undertones, but it it needed to be addressed. I'm sure that there have been times in your second life that, you know, you've had this happen to you. And don't make anyone, don't allow anyone to make you feel guilty for it. Another thing on personal rights and personal freedoms in second life, we all have that right to block someone. No one should question as to why you've blocked them. Just accept it and move on. It is one of the best features in a virtual world. The ability to block and ignore someone because that adds to one's personal privacy. We, we, all, we all have that right to do that in Second Life. Don't be a douche. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.